Hi friends, Nick here from Technology Lowdown. This is just a short video today. I was just going to have a chat about something I've found, which is uh, the helpful nature of the Linux community. You see, a couple of days ago, I was uh, running an update on the system, and then all of a sudden, I started getting this error message uh, where it's saying that the following signatures couldn't be verified because the public key is not available. No pub key. Now, this is something that I've seen before, and usually, um, I've just kind of read what's causing the problem. So here it says that it's Spotify.com, right? So what I would normally do is I would just uninstall Spotify and then uh, reinstall it. And usually that would kind of fix it. But there's actually a way to fix it. Today, I, I thought I may as well just uh, see what I can do and try to find out how to fix this. So it's, it seems to be pretty easy. And it, it came up so quickly in my search results. So I'll just bring you up uh, what I searched for. Basically, I uh, just copy and pasted this uh, little chunk where it says error five. I copied all this and uh, the next line here in release, I pasted all that into the field here. And what came up was a post from just three days ago on the Reddit community. So if I go here, we can see that uh, this person's getting the same error uh, where it's saying the pub key uh, is no longer valid. And then just down here, we've got the answer, the solution. It's been upvoted three times, and this should supposedly fix it. So I did that as well. So if I scroll down here, you'll see that I've run it right here. Straight after that, it said the word OK. And then it, I did a pseudo apt update, and it uh, finished without any errors. And this is just something I've been quite impressed by, just how helpful the Linux community is. Because this only just took me like 15 seconds, if that, to find the answer and to actually get it fixed. I didn't have to delve any further into the system to work out how to fix this. And it's not the first time I've just been able to simply Google the problem I've had and I've been able to find the solution to it. Um, especially with uh, to do with the Linux operating system. And uh, like I've only been using Linux for about the last year full time. Uh, I've wiped all my Windows operating systems and I'm just using Linux as my full time OS. And like uh, when I first picked up Linux, probably like eight years ago, and I, I tried running it, I found it very unstable. And when I did search for things, perhaps Google just wasn't as good at returning results or the search engine I was using at the time. And it just didn't seem to return the results I needed to find the answer. Well, perhaps communities online have gotten bigger, which probably is the case. But the bottom line is, it just seems so easy to get things fixed and working. And Linux has become a very stable operating system now. Like I'm running Pop OS here, and uh, I have never experienced a problem with it that hasn't been able to be fixed. And I've been running this version for at least the last um, uh, eight or so months since this version was released, which is um, uh, twenty point oh four. So yeah, I've found it to be one of the most stable operating systems here. Um, so yeah, this is the way I fixed it, and that's great. And uh, I ended up coming across this other blog post here too, which is by uh, Chris Jean, and he's described how you can fix the apt update when the signature cannot be verified. And I dare say that this solution would have probably also worked as well, because uh, here, here he is saying you can go sudo apt key, and then we can go adv, which um, if I just do that now, sudo apt key and if we go uh, it's help oh now let's go apt key uh, uh, apt key there's a way to do this and info apt oh yeah it's man that's right apt key all right so man is uh, for the apt key here and I can see that ADV means pass advanced options to GPG. With advanced, you can download the key from key servers. Okay, so that's what the ADV means. By the way, that man trick is great. It works for every, uh, pretty much everything here within the command line. So you can go man, I can do ifconfig here as well. And that'll show me all the options. 
That is a great trick. All right, so sudo apt key advance uh, ADV, and then we've got key server, which is going to be what the um, issue is. Just mind that noise, that's just my dog in the background here. Um, so the key server in this case would be repository.spotify.com, and the receive key is what you receive in your error. So for me, that one would be this one here. If I was to copy that one, and if I do this again, this is the first time I've done this, I haven't done this since starting this video. I'm gonna do add ADV. My dog is really wanting my attention. Will this be another moment here, Ruby? Okay, so it looks like that command hasn't ran. So let's see what I can do here. So let's do apt key. But I've just done the man, and I've found that I can run man apt key. I think it's just dl, which will delete the key. So that should hopefully reintroduce my problem. So if I go sudo apt key, and then I go delete, and then I simply paste in this key, it says OK. So now if I do sudo apt dash get update. All right, so it's missing that key again. That's good. All right, so we've got the same problem that I had before. Now if I run this command here again that it is saying, it should fix that problem. And I'll just compare that key. That key here is the same as what I entered previously. So let's try that. We'll press enter. And let's see if it will renew. Okay, so it's really interesting, but that doesn't seem to work for Spotify. So let's just do this one here again. And we'll do sudo apt get update. And yeah, I, this is really interesting how it doesn't seem to be working for Spotify. I wonder if that's because it actually changes the key. So I might try this here. I'm gonna do apt key and then list. All right, so let's see if that key has actually changed. So the key I'm looking for is Spotify. So sorry guys, my recording cut out there, but I wasn't able to find where that key kind of lines up in the apt key list. But I thought I might open it up to those of you watching this video. Can you explain to me why that second command didn't work? Like the first one worked, which I found on Reddit, which uh, is going to a different server by the looks of it compared to the actual repository.spotify.com so yeah there seems to be two different servers and it seems to be getting the key from somewhere else perhaps this is something that's just uh, familiar to uh, Spotify kind of apt uh, repository servers or perhaps it's something that other uh, repositories use as well as in terms of how you get your key for your updates well, thanks for watching this video. I'll leave it here. If you'd like to see more videos like this, subscribe and tap the bell if you'd like to receive notifications. And if, and if this video has helped you, or if you found this interesting, please press the like button as it really does help. Well, thanks for watching. Bye.